anybody who knows me, been following me, been connected with me, you know that I've been saying this for some years now. All right. That's the first thing. The second thing is, well, why is he bringing this up or why is he even credible to be able to bring this up? How does Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, excuse me, and put some respect on it, Coach Prime, because I don't like when they call him Deion. It's like you call everybody else coach, call him coach too. He's the head coach. He's been the head coach. He's been coaching forever. And he's one of the best players to ever play the game of football, period. Okay, anyway, let me get off my soapbox. So shout out to Coach Prime, man. Shout out to Colorado. But what makes him credible? John, what makes him credible to where he even has the position to where he can begin to um, – want to do some of the things that he's doing well for one we know he's been a free thinker for the longest right but let, let's let's go back before then let's go back okay so we've all seen him right we've seen him at the highest stage playing football right super bowl champion winning hall of fame football player that's for one then let's go even a step further because then he also was on the baseball diamond, right? Back, he had the jerry curl and everything. Had the jerry curl going and all that. Shout out to Coach Prime. Everybody can't rock the jerry curl. You know what I'm saying? So he was doing that on the baseball diamond. But then, but then he entered the realm of commentating. And I really can appreciate, because he got him, he's commentating on CBS. And then he was uh, also commentating, you know, with, the NFL and CBS. But one thing I want to bring to the forefront and shout out to him because he gives Michael Irvin credit. He said when he was getting ready to retire and then he was talking with uh, Michael Irvin because Michael Irvin, former teammate, right, had the ability to say, this is what you need to do to prepare. And I heard Dion go on and say this uh, in a pregame college game day interview where he gave Michael Irvin credit for helping coach him up, get him in the position to be able to do and prepare for that understanding of media and being able to leverage media in that way, right? And then you might say, well, John, but I don't think that still necessarily gives him credit or gives him the ability to where he is somebody that can cover or can introduce the realm of media to his athletes, right? To these young men to, who are looking to not only just make the best experience possible for uh, their collegiate career, but they also want to be able to set themselves up for success long term. And Coach Prime has been very vocal about this and has said this many, many times. So then you say, well, what else has he done to even further give him the ability to talk about or teach about media? Well, Coach Prime also happened to have his own podcast right so not only has he done media in terms of calling uh in terms of pre-game commentary and in terms of breaking down and giving context around calling a game that he is a hall of famer in hello let's put some respect on it but then he also hosted his own show which was 21st and prime which was in partnership with barstools which they ended up ending after about uh 25 episodes and i listened to the, the show and it's, it's pretty entertaining show i mean let's be honest any show that uh, coach prime is on is gonna be entertaining so now you're saying well john all this so now he wants to get them into the realm of podcasting so let let's let's go a little bit further and, and, and let's hear what his plans really are for this uh podcast uh concept for a team let, let's let, let's hear a little bit more i need all you guys names uh somebody take that and I want you to choose two partners that you're going to do a podcast with. And we're going to have our own in-house podcast. Ooh, nice. and